Sup guys, welcome back to another video. Today we look at number 71 on the list of the top 100 NFL players in 2023, DeForest Buckner, defensive tackle for the Colts. And whenever I think about DeForest Buckner, the only thing that comes to mind is the fact that he has some of the biggest hands in the entire league. Or maybe it's, is it hands or is it longest arms? Either way, um, he's an absolute weapon out there. First things first, let's look at his stats. Yeah, that's right. Six foot seven, 295 pounds. He's over two fucking meters. Uh, plays for the Colts. Was drafted by the 49ers in the first round of the 2016 draft with the seventh overall pick. So I'm not going to say he's a veteran, but he is approaching 30 years of age. Played college at Oregon. He's eclipsed 100 total NFL games. Played number 99 his entire career, be that at San Francisco or Indianapolis. And uh, last year, played 17 games had 74 combined tackles, 44 solo, 30 assisted, 11 tackles for loss, 22 QB hits, one fumble recovery, and probably the most impressive of his statistics, outside of his, you know, measurements, uh, you could say, is eight sacks. Eight sacks, bringing his career total to 53. Played 112 total games, and he ran a 5.05 second 40 yard dash with a broad jump of almost 10 feet, a vertical of 32. And he was traded, interestingly enough, by the 49ers to the Colts in 2020 for a 2020 first round pick, the 13th overall, which was subsequently Tristan Wirfs, who then somehow made his way from the 49ers. Either way, guys, a six foot seven, 300 pound absolute behemoth, sacking quarterbacks with ease. I mean, let's just get into it. DeForest Bogner, he just disrupted his house. Heineke flushed up in the pocket, and he is going to be dragged down. A sack, DeForest Buckner. Ow. He is just a, a specimen. We win this game up front. It starts up front, it ends up front. How can you not listen to a guy like that? What a player he is. He's been good for this Colts defense just like he was in San Francisco. It was a season full of ups and downs for the Colts, but in the middle of their defense was a constant force. Get out of here, boy. Yeah, Buck, he's just a uh, model of consistency. Um, John, John, mate. You're just a long snapper. What are you worried about? You what, know, he's what always are you so worried about? making big plays for that team. He just seems like he's always in the right place. Uh, he does his job very well. The defense is thriving with DeForest Buckner, the centerpiece of the defense. DeForest Buckner, or Defo as they call him, has been voted to the top 100 for D4 straight year. You dream to play with... Guys like that, that just, you know, when you cover, you don't have to cover for long. And there's not going to be much scramble. They're not going to really be able to get out much. The Forrest Buckner right in the face of Ryan Tannehill as he threw it. Throwing oh, around the forest can be like throwing through the forest. He's in the pocket. The ball's batted down the line of scrimmage by the Colts. The Forrest Buckner. You know, he's so big, he's playing interior at 6'7". That alone, like, being able to... Bro, that, that, that is disruptive. That is disruptive. Six foot seven on the inside. When you got a guy like Wilson, five foot ten, six foot on a good day. Play low with he's, guards he can't with see. six three, six four. The way he uses his hands. What was that, man? At six seven. That alone, like, being able to play low with guards who are six three, six four. The way he uses his hands, he's just so dominant at the point of attack. He does not look 6'7". The way that he just moved then, the way that he sort of, you know, wound up, the explosiveness he's got off the mark, that is, that's a freak. That's an athletic Actor. freak. He determines, you know, what happens in the fight all the time. I mean, he's got like a 90-inch wingspan. He's kind of an all-around guy that, that can really do it all, but, you know, uses his size better than most. Reminds me of Chris Jones. The force he brings to the game with, with his length, with his, with his power, with his size is, is kind of unmatched. There's only a few of those guys. If he is within five yards of a quarterback at any time, not, the quarterback's not getting out. 
He's not getting out of his grasp. On Earth, that can move the way he can move at that size. He's different. His feet are much faster than the traditional D linemen. He could have zero sacks and zero tackles, but still blow up 20 plays and disrupt the game. You know, that's it. That is it. Stats don't always tell the full picture. It's just amazing to me that a guy that's 6'7", 295 pounds is that athletic and has that much suddenness to be able to win any way. He can win with power or he can win with speed and pass rush. He can do it all inside. And a guy that, despite the losing, keeps on playing and playing hard and playing at a high level. It's DeForest Buckner with the sack. a physical freak yeah it's so. it's hard to i mean i'm 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 scratching does your i'm scratching i'm scratching um uh, my head thinking you know how to describe this guy he doesn't he doesn't move like a six foot seven 300 pounder i'll say that much either way this would be fun let's put him in a rugby team at six seven you can't go past the position of lock right you need that height to get up in the line out and grab the ball and then distribute it to to um to your halfback and then out to the backs but well, you know what? We've got to put him somewhere. At 6'7", really, there is only one position that suits him, and that would be the lock. But, I mean, he, you know, put him, jeez, put, put him at number eight. I say put him at number eight. Yeah, put him at number eight. Yeah. 6'7", 300 pounds on the back of a scrum. Give him the ball. See what he can do with it. Uh, on defense, you know, actually, as, uh, you know, packing a defensive scrum being on the back of that scrum he's looking either left or right he's probably popping his head up every now and then to see to see exactly what the opposition's going to do whether they go left whether they go right whether the halfback takes a little snipe around the side uh deforest buckner with his wingspan at six foot seven playing number eight he could you know clean up a lot of the mess around the back of the scrum uh, around the sides of the scrum yeah I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put him in at number eight i'm gonna say he's got overall the strength and the speed to be to be a really uh, interesting, if nothing else, number. Can you imagine? Can you imagine a guy that size coming off the back of a scrum? What a sight it would be. What a sight it would be. Either way, that was my reaction to DeForest Buckner. Take from it what you will, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.